Hello and welcome back to the Miss Finance Tutorials YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you a formula that I've been using this week in Excel. So I love this formula and I definitely think it's worth sharing with the Facebook community and the YouTube community and anybody else who's watching. So if you're like me and you have to deal with a lot of data and you have to analyse that data and perform reconciliations, sometimes you might be given some information that you want to make sure reconciles to another bit of information. So in this example here, I've been given this information on sheet one and I want to make sure that what has been included on sheet one matches back to this information tab just here. Now it looks as if on first glance that the information is exactly the same, but that might not be the case. So what I would have normally done is performed an X lookup and let's just do that now. So if you go to insert function and then search on all, go to X lookup, click on go, click on OK. And what I would normally do is search for an invoice reference. So I would look that up in the right columns. I would ask it to return the gross value and if not found, I would ask it to refer to return blank. So I would copy this down like this and usually that would be all hunky dory but if you look closer you'll see here that this particular transaction here is all part of one invoice. So we've actually only got two invoices here and when you perform an ETS lookup what it's doing is it's looking for the very very first value that it can find. So if we go back to this information tab here you'll see that the very first item under this reference is £30 so it's only ever bringing back the £30 and similarly if we look at the invoice ending 00554 on here you'll see that's also £30. So it's not very useful if you've got a lot of transactions under the same invoice reference but a lot of different items to find within that invoice. So there's another formula that we can do and what that is is essentially an index formula. So what this index formula is doing is it's looking down this list here and it's saying, okay, I want to find G6 and I want to find that in the column E on the information tab and I want it to return F from the information tab. So if we have a look, column E is the invoice reference and column F is the value. So what this next part of this index formula is doing up here is I want you to bring back the first value that you find within that information. Now if we put a table together just here and ask that to look up P5 instead of the number one, it's doing the same thing but instead we're using a table instead of having to manually add on one, two, three, four, whatever it might be. So if we just drag this formula down ever so slightly here, what this is now doing is it's having a look for the second value under that invoice reference within the data that we've got. And if we just keep dragging this down all the way to here for this particular invoice reference, you'll find that everything was fine and dandy until we got down to this 553. So it's saying on this information tab here, there isn't a 15th number regarding that invoice. So we can double check that by firstly adding up all of the gross values under this reference number here which is 550, going to the information tab and doing the same thing under invoice reference 00553 and you can see there that that totals 550 as well. So it means that this is a reconciling item so that is not currently on that information tab. So let's do this again for this other invoice reference and make sure that you start at the top of the table up here by just dragging this up and then copy that down and we can see here that all of the items that are listed here under the invoice 00554 are in fact on this information tab and we can manually check this again by totaling up all of that invoice reference which is 490. Go into information and we can see there that that's 490 and we can just double check that by completing a sum formula at the bottom here and creating another one at 
the bottom here. And if we just take out that reconciling item, we can see there that that 1040 matches the 1040 on here. So that again just proves that this here is a reconciling item. So if you want to see that formula again, all that is doing is it's picking up the invoice reference, it's having a look through the columns for that invoice reference under this information E. Under the array here is returning the information in column F and with this item at the end, which is where we've got our row number, it's simply picking up, in this case, the 15th transaction for that invoice number. So I hope you found this video useful. Do give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, consider subscribing as always and I shall see you on the next video.